Hello learners. Welcome to the third video of our Madcap Flare Tutorials for Beginners series. I am Vibhav Gupta, a certified Madcap Advanced Developer. In this video, we will continue to apply a few more styles and generate the final output. If you have not watched our previous videos and do not know how to create a project, add content, and apply styles, I request you to watch our previous videos before continuing with this video. I have mentioned the links in the description. You can also read the step-by-step -step instructions on our website techwritersblog.com. The link to it is also mentioned in the video description. This video is created for sharing the knowledge I have acquired through my years of experience. Please note I am not an authorized Madcap Flare trainer. If this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you don't miss our future tutorials. To start, let us open the project we created in our previous tutorial. Until now, we were working on individual topics. It is time to give some structure to your content and arrange the topics we created so far. In the Flare application, a table of contents or TOC is a file that provides flow to your content by arranging topics. There are two ways of arranging topics, you can either do it manually or automatically. When generating TOC automatically, the Madcap Flare creates sub-entries in a TOC for the subheadings in your topics. Alternatively, you need to add each entry manually. I prefer the manual option as it gives me more flexibility to structure the TOC. You can easily add books and links to the topics, videos, files outside your projects, other TOCs, browse sequences, or other help systems and structure them according to your need. Go to the Project Organizer and then TOCs folder. Double-click the TOC file to open it. By default, there will be one file created. If you want to create more than one TOCs, then do the following. Right-click the TOCs folder and select Add Table of Contents. In the Add File dialog box, enter the file name and then click Add. After you have added the TOC file you wanted, double-click to open it. In the TOC editor window, we need to add entries for each heading or content you wish to see in the output. You can do this by creating a new topic and simultaneously linking it to a new entry in the TOC. To do that, in the TOC Editor toolbar, click the Create a New Topic and Link to It icon. In the Add File dialog box, enter the topic details. Another way is to create a new entry and then, create a new topic to link it. To do that, in the TOC Editor toolbar, click the New Item icon. A new entry with a flag icon in front of it is created. The flag shows that the entry we created does not have any topic or anything linked to it. Right-click the newly created and unlinked TOC entry, and then select Link to New Topic. It will take us to the same screen we showed previously. Another way to create entries in TOC is to create a new entry and then, link it to an existing topic. To do that, in the TOC Editor toolbar, click the New Item icon. A new entry with a flag icon in front of it is created. Now, instead of creating a new topic as we did previously, we will link this entry to an existing topic. Right-click the newly created and unlinked TOC entry, and then select Link to Topic. In the Select File dialog box, select a file to link it to the TOC entry. However, the simplest way to create a TOC entry and link to an existing topic is by going to Content Explorer, selecting a topic, and dragging and dropping it to the TOC editor. After creating a few entries in the TOC, we can arrange them according to our needs. We can move the entries up or down or left or right to move them under another topic and make them subheadings. Use the arrow icons in the TOC editor toolbar to arrange the TOC entries. After you are done editing, do not forget to save the TOC file. Before producing an output, you must first decide what type of output you want to produce. Madcap Flare supports the following output formats. HTML5 PDF Word Clean XHTML, Eclipse Help, EPUB, HTML. You may need to generate multiple outputs of the same format that's where the single sourcing feature comes into the picture. In Flare the output is controlled using a target file. In Simple for each output, you want to produce there should be one target file. To add a target file, go to the project ribbon and then, select New and then select Add Target. Alternatively, go to Project Organizer, right-click the Targets folder, and then select Add Target. In the Add File dialog box, in the Source column, select a template. You can select from the factory templates provided by the Madcap software team, or select New from existing, and then select a target created by you. 
However, there is only one template provided by Flare. In the target section, enter the file name in the file name box. Select an output format or type from the output type drop down list. Click Add. A page layout is used for print-based output to define page specifications such as size, margins, borders, and add headers, footers, page numbers to all your topics. Depending upon your need, you can add any number of page layouts to a project. If your guide contains different sections or chapters which require different headers, footers, page size, orientation, margins, background image, or page numbers, then you need multiple page layouts. Else, one is sufficient for your entire document. To add a page layout, go to the project ribbon and then, select new, and then select add page layout. Alternatively, go to content explorer, right click the folder, where you want to keep your page layout file, select new, and then page layout. In the add file dialog box, in the source column, select a template. You can select from the factory templates provided by the Madcap software team or select new from existing and then select a target created by you. In the page layout section, enter the file name in the file name box. Click add. After adding a page layout, decide the types of pages you need in each page layout. For example, you may want every chapter of your guide should have a different first page, a left page, and a right page. To achieve this, you need to add a first right page, a left page, and a right page. To design each page, you need to add frames to it, for example, a header frame, a body frame, and a footer frame. Each frame has a different purpose, for example, a body frame holds the content of the topic. From the Content Explorer, open a page layout. In the page layout editor, from the right section, right click on a page, and then select one of the following. Duplicate page, to add a page with all the settings copied from the selected page. Mirror page, to add a page with all the settings mirrored from the selected page. In this, the settings, such as margins, padding, etc. for the right side will change to the left side and vice versa. Add page, to add a blank page. Copy page, to copy the selected page, and then select paste page to paste the copied page. You can copy and paste a page to a different page layout. After adding a page, the next step is to add frames. In the page layout editor, from the right section, select a page. In the toolbar, click the new frame mode icon, and then select one of the following frame types. New frame mode, on a blank page, you can draw all types of frames using this one option. When you select it for the first time, it will give you a body frame, a second time a header frame, a third time a footer, and then a decoration frame. New header frame mode, to draw a header frame. As there is only one header allowed or needed on a page, it is only enabled when there is no header available on a page. New footer frame mode, to draw a footer frame. Similar to the header frame you can insert only one footer. New body frame mode, to draw a body frame. This frame will contain the content of the topics. New decoration frame mode, to add a decoration frame, which is used to add decorative material on your page, for example, you may want to add a border, some colored block, or some text to your pages. New image frame, to add an image frame, which is used to add an image to your page. For example, to add a logo. You can also use a decoration frame to insert an image. Click on the page and then drag and draw a frame according to your need. If you inserted two body frames, then right-click on one of the frames, and then select Next Frame to define the flow of the content. Right-click on a frame and select Properties to edit the frame settings. On a header, footer, or decoration, right-click, and then select Edit Text to enter text, or select Frame Text to insert text from the templates provided by Madcap Flare. Also, you can press F2 to edit text.
A template page is mainly used for online output however, you can use it for word outputs as well. A template page is used to insert breadcrumbs, menus, toolbars, search bars, mini TOCS, or footer text to multiple topics in the output. To add a template page, in the Content Explorer, right-click the folder where you want to keep your template page file, select New, and then select Template Page. Another way to add a template page is in the top pane, go to the Project ribbon, select New, and then select Template Page. In the Add File dialog box, in the Source column, select a template. You can select from the factory templates provided by the Madcap software team, or select New from existing to select a template page created by you. In the Template Page section, enter the file name in the file name box. Click Add. Double-click the newly added template page to open it. A template is similar to a topic, you can add the content which you want to see on multiple topics. In template pages, you need to insert proxies to add content such as topics content, breadcrumbs, menu, search bar, glossary index, TOC, page header, page footer, mini TOC. Some proxies are inserted automatically depending on the template you have selected when you created the template page. To insert a proxy, place the cursor where you want to insert a proxy. In the top pane, go to the insert ribbon, select proxy, proxy, and then select the type of proxy that you want to use. Remember to put a placeholder for the content of your topics, you need to add a topic body proxy. Save the file and associate it with the target on the advanced tab of the target file. The appearance of an online output such as the color of the output window, navigation items, logo, and many more, are controlled by the skin. To see what skins do we have with this project, go to Project Organizer, and then expand the skins folder. To short this video and not overload you with too much information, I am not editing anything on the skins, and will be using the default skins available with the project. Now, we have added all the content that we need and applied some of the styles it is time that we produce the output and see it. In Madcap Flare, the process to generate the output is called building the target. To build a target, double-click the target file and select Build. After the build process is complete, verify the output if it meets your requirement. If not, then modify it. Thank you for watching this video. With this, we now come to an end of our Madcap Flare for Beginners tutorial series. I hope you have learned the basics of Madcap Flare and can start working and exploring more with the Madcap Flare. For any reason, if you feel the steps explained in this video are incorrect, then please mention them in the comments section.